Anyway, there's plenty of time. No matter what questions my husband has, we can always ask them all. That's true. This place used to be the territory of humans. So why is there not a single human here now? Humans? In this land of chaos, humans are nothing but livestock and food. The human race in this town has naturally long been devoured by the demon race. Stop lying. While I do sense the presence of the demon race here, I haven't seen a single demon. If we're talking about the strongest demonic presence, it's you. Of course, I've killed all the other demons inside here. I know you are not a pure demon. In your body there is still half human blood. So what? The human population in this peaceful town wasn't killed by you. If you say it's not, so it's not? Tell me, what has happened in this peaceful town? If what you say satisfies me, I might spare your life. What does it matter if you know or if you don't know? I'm very interested in this matter. Maybe I can even resolve it? I have reached the saint realm, but the person before me is even more formidable than I am. He must be a master of the creation realm. If he can truly help me. Right now you have no other choice. Either truthfully tell us how things unfolded, or... Either I kill you, extract your soul, and obtain the memories I want from within. I can tell you what has happened in Peaceful Town. From your tone, you still want to set conditions. Does my tone sound like I'm setting conditions? Three years ago, Peaceful Town was still a settlement of the human race, back then, in the southern region of the land, which is the same area as now, the human race was very united. The human race collectively resisted the invasion of the demon race, and at that time, the demon race in the southern part of the chaotic land was not strong in terms of either quantity or power compared to other regions. So the people in the southern part of the chaotic land united. Together, they established a town, which is now known as Peaceful Town. According to what you said, the demon race in the southern part of the chaotic land is weaker than in other regions, so the human race has a better chance of survival, right? Yes, compared to the other three regions of the chaotic land, the human influence is stronger in the south. But overall, the human race is still in a weaker position. So the reason for the extinction of the human race in Peaceful Town is, is it because the stronger demon races from other regions came and wiped them out in one fell swoop? That's not the case. If my guess is correct, your father or mother has some connection to Peaceful Town, right? What does it have to do with you? Don't be so angry. And if I'm not mistaken, you've been staying in Peaceful Town all this time because of your parents, right? Looking at you, that seems to be the case. If you can guess so much, why are you asking me? I've guessed so much, does it conflict with me asking you? And I've only guessed I don't know everything. In the early days of Peaceful Town, the conflicts with the demon race were very intense, but in the end they managed to stand their ground and became the first major human stronghold in the chaotic land so it wasn't wiped out by the demon race. What, then, caused its destruction? Black Wave. Black Wave? Yes, I also don't know where it comes from, but every time it appears, it devours everything in its path. So does that mean the Black Wave has devoured all the human inhabitants of Peaceful Town? And those monsters from before, they are related to the Black Wave, aren't they? Yes, in addition to directly devouring, the Black Wave can also corrupt both the demon race and the human race so I want to study it thoroughly. By the way you describe it, I'm getting more and more interested in this black wave you're talking about. If you're not afraid of death, go ahead and be interested. The strength of the black wave is so formidable that even those in the creation realm may not necessarily be able to withstand it. Furthermore, the black wave has no fixed form. It is of an immense scale, and without a central entity, you cannot kill it. Do you really not want to seek revenge? Of course I want to seek revenge. If I didn't, I wouldn't have captured those contaminated beings for research. I can help you. Do you really want to confront the Black Wave? How would you know without trying? Since you intend to confront the Black Wave, I'm willing to assist you as well. Great, shall we find a place to continue talking? It's a bit strange to discuss matters here. This peaceful town is already deserted, so we can go anywhere you'd like. Then I'll let you lead the way. Aren't you worried that I might lead you into a trap or ambush? If you could ambush me successfully, would I let you lead the way? You have a point there, or else I wouldn't have been captured alive. So, you can transform into a human form as well. My mother was originally the eldest daughter of a prominent demon sect, and she met my father by chance. They came to Peaceful Town and gave birth to me. The two of you, please follow me. 
I have a dedicated base in Peaceful Town. Is your base a place for researching the beings contaminated by the Black Wave, both from the demon and human clans? Exactly. If they go out and encounter demons or humans and come into contact with the slightest bit of the Black Wave on them, it could become the start of a new round of disaster. So, in these years, once you discover individuals contaminated by the Black Wave, you would capture and imprison them for research. Yes, only by imprisoning them can we prevent them from causing harm to the demon wasteland. To be honest, it would be so much better to throw them into the midst of the demon clan. What do you mean? The humans have been oppressed by the demon race for too long. If you release the Black Wave infected individuals among them, you can also make a contribution to the human race. You were born in peaceful town and grew up in a human environment from a young age. Your feelings for the human clan should be even deeper than for the demon clan, right? But I also understand that you're currently researching that matter, and if you were to release them, the entire North Divine Continent might be at risk of falling. My current research isn't about favoring anyone. I just want to find a solution to the Black Wave. We've arrived. Why have you imprisoned them separately? They can't stay together for extended periods. If they stay together for an extended period, they will devour and fuse with each other, and their power will become stronger. So, I have a question. Why were those few individuals able to escape and attack me earlier? At that time, I was using them for research, and then you broke through the city gates. The commotion was too significant and disrupted my work. I made a mistake, and they managed to escape.